What are you most proud of from this project? Most proud of? Um, prob there, was, there were three, uh, three tunnels in particular that had especially dangerous uh, material. Um, and we were able to uh, repatriate that material and send it back to, uh, send it back to Russia. Uh, there was uh, a lot of bureaucratic hurdles we had to go over um, to, to, get that, to get that done. What are you most proud of for your work here? Uh, two things. Um, I'm, I'm most proud of the, the non-proliferation work that we've done. Uh, I think it's been a, a worthwhile investment and, and worthwhile for the United States to help uh, Kazakhstan secure the test site. Um, so in that regard, like the monument at Degla Mountain said, you know, the world has become safer. And I think that our work here at the experimental field has been an extension of that clearly. Uh, the second thing I'm not really proud of is that I've, I've always considered a, a huge part of my job responsibility, um, maintaining uh, this relationship and honoring the legacy of those that have gone before me. Um, they, they did incredible work and there's a lot of giants in, in our industry that were part of this project. And so I feel fortunate to, to be just the latest in, in that line of, of uh, patriots and um, uh, individuals who, who care about uh, the non-proliferation non of, of nuclear material from the site. When I have my little core value card on my desk there. One of, those, one of the words there is innovation, right? Being innovative. That's what we were doing here all the time. Uh, we were learning together and coming up with ways to solve problems, you know, because even every tunnel was different. So even though we may have had a plan on paper on how to approach it, then until you were underground and actually started drilling, you, would, you didn't know what kind of surprises you were going to deal with. Uh, so we were constantly solving these problems little by little. And as we kept doing that, we became more comfortable. And that's what allowed us to go into these other areas, uh, you know, particularly experimentation. Uh, so, you know, it's a great test field and there's, I think there's a lot, well, I mean, other guys have done more work here ever since and uh, there's a lot to learn from this place and, and our colleagues and I certainly hope that that, that continues. Вот э, те человеческие отношения, которые были созданы, да, те человеческие отношения, которые на сегодняшний день мы имеем, они являются главным, наверное, фундаментом успеха всех наших работ. Поэтому со всеми менеджерами, со всеми менеджерами у нас были всегда почему-то, почему-то у нас не было плохих менеджеров со стороны дитеров, всегда были только хорошие. Надеюсь, что ту работу, которую вы проводите, доведение информации о нашей работе, о полигоне общественности, возымеет свое место. Люди узнают, что проведена очень хорошая работа. Генеральный директор, то есть в рамках программы по, на опытном поле. То есть, в принципе, скажу, что э, приятно работать с профессионалами, приятно работать с честными и порядочными людьми. I've often said that uh, this work that I did from actually starting in 1991, which was pre our real involvement in 1994, was somewhat the crescendo of my career. I feel very proud of what we accomplished. I cherish the friendship with many people at the National Nuclear Center of Kazakhstan, uh, the Russian Federation uh, National Labs, and of course my American colleagues not only at, at DITRA, but also at our own U.S. Department of Energy National Labs, because they were also heavily involved in doing this work. Uh, it was truly a real success story to resolve the problem of Plutonium Mountain.